Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Kick to the Car back at the mic and I welcome you to this video, guys. This video is the second episode of a series about jungling in season 9. These kind of videos, guys, take a lot of effort and time, so I will be only uploading another episode if you guys are really interested in such a series. So make sure to hit the like button, everybody, and leave a comment below the video what exactly you have learned from that video, what exactly you have taken out of that video, and what you would like me to talk about in the next episode. If you missed the first episode, in case you missed the first episode, guys, make sure to check out the link in the comment section. I will be... I'm putting there a link, uh, providing there a link for you guys if you, in case you missed the first episode. Or simply click on the I in the top right corner. So this episode will be about jungle path, guys. Because the jungle can change from patch to patch. And it's constantly evolving. You gotta always adapt to the situation. You gotta keep that in mind. This is the reason why I will start this video by showing you guys some st some standard clears. You know what I'm saying? You always can do. No matter what happens to the, ju to the jungle. If Riot goes for some changes. You can simply do these standard clears. And they basically never change. Later on I will show you some advanced jungle path. Okay. However... There is an important rule that you always got to keep in mind, guys. If you want to do your first gang on the top side, you want to start at the bot side jungle. And if you want to do your first gang on the bot lane, though, you want to start at the top side jungle. This way, you will end your jungle path with a double buff and your gang will be super effective in terms of forcing flashes or even kill someone. The blue buff will help you with some CDR and the red buff will help you with some on head damage and amazing CC in terms of slowing people. Let's start with the level 3 roots. You want to go for these roots whenever you are playing champions that are very very strong at the early levels. You might think clearing till level 3 is easy, but hey, even jungle mains do a little mistake here. I want to talk about that mistake. You want to start at the red buff, okay? Continue with your wolf cam, but don't. There's the mistake a lot of main junglers are doing here, but don't clear the whole camp. Don't. Just kill the small ones, okay? Just kill the small wolves and leave the big one alive. Many junglers stay and they clear the whole camp. This way, they lose time and stack up XP that they don't need for that level 3 gang. We are talking here about the level 3 gang, okay? So if you want to do your first gang at level 3, you want to go for that. On the top, they lose time for no reason. That's the, that's the main point here, okay? After clearing the two little wolves, you want to go for your blue buff and finish your route with the scuttle. This way you end your route within like 2 minutes and 30 seconds and you will gank with at, you will gank at level 3 and wearing that double buff which is really important and effective for ganks. Of course you can start this route from the opposite direction means at the blue buff then two wolf then two little wolves red buff and you end up with the scuttle. But keep in mind, starting topside will delay your level 3 gank for like, um, let's say 10 seconds. Means you will be ganking a lane at 2 and 14. The reason for that is that at the top side only your top laner will help you obviously. And at the bot side you will get help only from two champs. Which is better than getting help from just one uh, champ obviously. There is a special level 3 route that I want to share with you guys though. But for this you gotta start at the red buff. After that you continue with the croc camp. And then you want to go for the scuttle. If you already watched my previous uh, jungle academy video. You will know that the croc camp gives you a lot of XP. Actually the most XP out there in the jungle. And gold out of the camps. Okay, This is why you get level 3 out of 3 camps instead of 4 camps. The good thing is, no one will, like I repeat, okay, no one will expect a gank that early and especially not on the side where you started that. As I said before, you only want to clear like that if you want to do something very early like ganking or counter jungling or counter ganks, you know. I will speak about ganking and counter jungling in a specific video though. Champions like, let's say, Lee Song, Xin Zhao, Camille, Orango. 
could go for such a rule, okay? But if you don't want to gank at level 3 and you are probably like uh, to play champs who needs to farm a bit, in this case, you want to go for a level 4 root. You might ask yourself, hey, King Kong, what is a level 4 root? No, no problem, man. Just, just calm down, man. It's all good because I got you, okay? I'm just going to tell you what that is, how you do a level 4 clear root, okay? The level 4 root that I'm about to show you guys is a very defensive and safe root. It's really defensive, okay? You want to start at your red buff, then continue with your raptors, and after that, you head over to your crack, crack camp. After that, you back prot without, uh, I mean, with about 450 gold, ready to buy boots and a control wall. Go back into your jungle at the top side and do the same by clearing the wolf camp, blue camp, and grom camp. In the end, you will be level four. If you want to continue with farming, go ahead and ward your jungle entrance for more safety, of course, of and for your laners, and of course for yourself. Champs like Amumu or Hakarim or Nocturne or even Wukong can use this route, guys. But again, I want to point out here, okay? This is very important for me that you guys understand that point. I want to point out here this route is super defensive and the more jungle games you play, the less you will use this route. I can guarantee you. This is this route is... This, this is a really, um, this route is really for beginners, you know what I'm saying, who want to farm safe and get through their uh, jungle without any complications. Another option will be a full clear. For this you want to start at your top side by clearing your blue, then gromp, then wolf camp, then raptors, then red buff, and then the croc camp. After that you hit the back button, buy some items and you can start again at your gromp camp. Or look out for some scuttle um, fights or for a, a game. That's it guys. These are the routes I wanted to share with you guys. However, there are some left though. But I will talk about the counter jungle aspect and the counter jungle routes and in a specific video guys. So make sure to hit the like button and I will bring out the next episode. The next episode will be out soon though. It's very important for me. It's very important for me you guys that you guys suggest whatever you want me to talk about. Okay, so please go ahead in the comment section and leave a comment below the video and drop a like and drop maybe two. Would be super cool. Would be so amazing guys. See ya next video. See ya in the next video I mean guys. Peace.